Hey, if you weren't able to come by our booth at DEF CON, you may have missed a few of the things that we were kind of previewing there. This isn't stuff that's uh, shipping in Dayback right now, but should be shipping uh, fairly soon. And we were demonstrating this stuff at our booth, so I thought it'd be kind of cool to show you what we were uh, looking at. This is all in Dayback Online, which is the web uh, and web direct version of Dayback. And uh, the first thing we were showing is the, you know, the integration with Google Calendar. So these are all my Google Calendars, and you can see we can toggle them on or off. And that was pretty cool. But um, what I'm really excited about today is this, uh, this idea of custom actions. So in Dayback for FileMaker, you've always been able to kind of take a look at an event and then have some buttons that run your own scripts. You, know, you can create as many of these as you want and name them. And you, you know, you'd use this to do things like jump to this record in FileMaker and, and you know, run your own FileMaker scripts. And while we can still do that using the FMP URLs, now that we're in a browser, we can also do other things like, like this. So for example, let's say I've rescheduled this event and now I need to let my team know about that. I'm gonna post that to Slack and you can see a little confirmation here that the message was sent. And then if I head over to uh, my phone, we should see, yeah, we should see that we got a new sample message uh, from Dayback. There's the, uh, the information and that came in from the, the, um, the title of the event. So just an example, there's a lot more that we could do here, obviously, um, with Slack's API, but just kind of an example of what this kind of an interaction might look like. And, and here's another example that I'm pretty excited about. So again, this is for Arthur Murray and for this project, Dirk Heights. And now I'm going to log some time on that. I'll start a timer and uh, now I can get to work and go off and do other things. And that timer is running in the background. And this little demo even lets us run uh, multiple timers against other projects. So just a couple of examples of the kind of things that you'll be able to add into uh, Dayback. And the way you do that, uh, I should show that, is if you go over to settings, this is your FileMaker server, right? These are the Google calendars that you've configured. So uh, when you're setting up your FileMaker server, of course, you tell us about your server, tell us about your fields, you know, you can test your settings. And then down at the bottom here, you can create custom actions. You can create as many as you want, uh, give them a name, and then fire a URL. This is obviously probably the simplest one we could think of. But you can also run little JavaScript things like post them into Slack and log time and harvest. And we'll be adding more examples uh, over time and uh, kind of expanding on this feature because I think it's a, a very cool way to get your FileMaker events to talk with uh, other applications. And if you did come by the booth, thank you very much for stopping by. We got a lot of great feedback from folks about what they're using Dayback for and what they'd like to see next as they kind of expand this out into other parts of their application and uh, into their online and web direct users. So uh, thank you very much for stopping by and uh, stay tuned for what's next. Thanks.